Anticipation shrouds a great city, resting from a week of celebration and preparing for its one day of the sporting year. Come with us as we leave the skyscrapers behind to the battlefields where the campaigns for 1981 were staged. Past the halls of learning and deserted playing fields of Prince's Park, where hawks played host to fading kangaroos and memories linger of Carlton's triumphs. Stillness envelops the graves of our founding fathers and giant stereotype skyscrapers house a new breed of Australians. To the tradition-bound suburb of Collingwood and its famed Victoria Park, where the echoes of Dick Lee, Jock McHale, the Colliers and the Coventries can still be heard if you listen hard enough. Atop an outcrop known as Windy Hill, the bombers of Essendon ruled the skies. Today, the runways are empty. In November, the country stopped to listen to a horse race. Today, Flemington lies quiet, its famous straight lush, green and inviting. For the first time in years, the men of Arden Street have had nothing to celebrate and plenty to ponder. Commerce has ground to a halt, the docklands silent. Up the revitalized Malabarong River, past fishing boats rocking gently at anchor to the western suburbs and the Footscray, home of the Bulldogs. Down the long highway, past air bases with grounded jets. Past the rugged landmark known by the Aboriginal name of Yu Yangs, to Geelong and its quaint ground nestled amid the trees of Cadinia Park. All is silent. Across the heads of Port Phillip Bay, over the treacherous rip to Sorrento, where the first settlers made their home, and soon holiday makers will invade in their thousands. Around the bayside suburbs, playgrounds of the rich, to Moorabbin, where St Kilda made its home some 15 years ago. Past deserted amusement parks, to a park of another kind. Albert Park, with its ovals at either end, the lions of Fitzroy and the swans of South Melbourne glare at each other across a still lake. Down the 12-lane highway, past the halls of Monash to VFL Park, which has played its part already in the drama preparing to unfold. The Dandenong Rangers have watched a city grow at its feet. Today, these towers will beam the triumphs and heartbreaks of young men around the country. We follow the stream on which a city was built, down the Yarra Valley, to the scene of an Olympiad 25 years gone. The thousands are arriving. They have been since dawn. They have congregated at this giant grey coliseum for the culmination of a football season. They have come from every corner of the country. They have driven from throughout Victoria. And masses have poured in from the suburbs to see the unique happening in Australian football. The time is now for the 1981 VFL Grand Finals.